Hi viewer, I welcome you to Edwin TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through Geography Form 3, lesson number 5. The topic it is Statistical Methods. I'm your tutor, Lucy Modon. Welcome. Our lesson goes today, we are going to look at the pie chart and also reconstruct the pie chart. Uh, a pie chart, it is referred to as the pie graphs or divided circle. So we can also give it as a pie graphs or divided circle. They are circles drawn and subdivided to represent statistical data. So we draw a circle, then we subdivide it in order for us to get to represent the statistical data. Each segment of the circle represents a given component of the data. The size of the segment is equivalent to the quantity of the value of the component. So the size of the segment, it is the one that is equivalent to the quantity of the value being represented. Uh, there are two types of the pie charts, one of them being the simple pie charts and the proportional divided circles. Let's start by looking at the simple pie chart and how we are supposed to draw it. Uh, it is also referred to as divided circle. It involves drawing a circle of convenient size, either the one if you are given the radius, or you get the convenient size representing a complete set of the recorded data. The circle is then subdivided with each segment representing a component of each set of the data. So we divide the, the circle. After drawing the circle, we subdivide it in each segment, in segments. And each segment should represent a given component of the data from the data that has been recorded. Let us take an example. We have the data that is represented there. We have the expenses and the amount. We have the rent, grocery, transport, current, school fees, and the savings. This is how a certain person used his salary. So when it comes now to representing the data, I'm supposed to draw the circle of the convenient size, then I convert the data into the, 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 the angles of the 360. And in that case now, you happen to have the circle like that. Then remember, it is also accompanied by the key. We have the rent, we also have the grocery, we also have the transport, we have the current school fees and savings being represented in different colors. Let's take um, the continuation. Then size of the circle is conveniently chosen. So when it comes now to choosing the size, the radius, you just do it uh, using, uh, using the best way possible. You choose the scale. It has no relationship with the quantity of the data to be represented. So there is no relationship with the radius and the quantity of the data being represented. It is the segment that passes statistical message, not the size of the circle. But what passes the information, it is the segment. And remember the segment represent each portion. It is used to represent our data like crops produced in each division of a given county, country, or quantities and value of imports of a given company. Each component is calculated as a percentage of the all and converted into degrees. How do we construct? Systematically convert each component as percentage of the all. So we need to get the percentage of them. Then convert the percentages into degrees. 
Remember now you need to calculate convert to percentages and then from percentages to degrees. Draw a ground circle of convenient size using a pair of compass. The circle should neither be too large or too small. From the center of the circle, using the protractor, measure and draw each calculated angle, representing each component. Then label the segment appropriately. Then finally, give the pie chart a key or a title. In that case, we give it a title. An example, use the data below to draw the pie chart. You have the data there, it is provided. Then you are required to draw a pie chart. So the first thing to do, get the total. Already you have the total. Then from there, get the, 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 the percentages. And this is the way you're supposed to calculate. Coffee, it was 300, divided by 500. Then convert it into degrees, which is giving me 216 degrees. Then T, it is 150, 500, 360, which is giving me 105. And others, we have 50, 360 times that is 360, which is giving me 36. And that is the way this pie chart will look like. You have coffee, tea, and others. After drink. What are the advantages of using the pie chart? It gives a clear impression of the individual components. Number two, it is used to represent a wide range of the data, like the first example that I gave you. The old salary, the way you are used to be represented it in the pie chart. It is easy to read and interpret. It clearly shows individual amounts and clear comparisons of different quantities can be made. What are the disadvantages? Its construction requires a lot of calculation, converting into percentages, then into degrees. The next one, small quantities or the decimals may not be easily represented. They don't show the trade. So those are the disadvantages. Activity, uh, that is the data you are supposed to draw the pie chart from it. So using the radius of 5 centimeters, draw a pie chart to represent the information given in the table above. Then state for advantages of using the pie chart to represent the data. For more information, you can get the information from the KRB 2003 Secondary Geography Student Book 3, that edition. If you want to contact us, you can get us through the SMS. You can also get us through the YouTube, you can also get us through the Facebook, and also you can Twitter us. Otherwise, stay tuned to the LinkedIn. Thank you.